Vanessa and I have known each other for over 10 years, and it wasn't until last year in 2013 that we decided to travel together. And now, we're hooked. Over the next three weeks, we're gonna travel through five different countries. So come along on our adventure with us. First stop, Nicaragua. So near the end of 2012 in December, I decided that I would quit everything and travel the world, mainly to dive. Um, and I went full time with my, my website, scubadiverlife.com. So pretty much since then, I've been traveling around the world, mainly uh, scuba diving. So this has been, this is an interesting trip because I'm not taking 150 pounds of gear with me. I just literally have a backpack uh, and another backpack. So two backpacks and that's it. I went abroad for the first time when I was 19 to Costa Rica and I absolutely loved it. But I got home and went back to college, graduated and started working full time. And honestly about 10 years went by, I think life just kind of got away from me. But about two years ago I had some pretty serious life changes and decided that one of the things I wanted to do more was travel and see more of the world. So I made it a priority. Um, I hiked the Inca Trail in Peru. I watched the sunrise over Angkor Wat in Cambodia and got blessed by the High Priestess of Bali. Um, and in March, I'm heading to India for a month, which is another lifelong dream of mine. Vanessa and I have arrived in Nicaragua and it feels awesome to be traveling again. It really does complete me. The plan is to head to Granada for one night and then to Ometepe for three days. Granada is a city in western Nicaragua. With an estimated population of 120,000 people, the city was founded in 1524 and is the first European city in the mainland America. We're at a church called La Iglesia de la Merced. It was completed in the mid-1500s and in the 1600s it was raised by pirates. It was then rebuilt in the 1700s. We were lucky enough to go up to the bell tower and check out Granada City from above, which really was a great way to get another sense of the area. This is the shot. Oh, oh that's the shot. That is the shot. We made it up to uh, one level, because look, there's another level up here, Va. You keep going up. And uh, there's these really cool bells here. Vanessa has banned me from ringing them. So, my goal on this trip is to keep me out of prison. Her goal on the trip is to keep me out of prison. Something nice friends do for each other. So, uh, what's up? We're uh, on our way to Ometepe Island right now from uh, Granada. So, we have an hour and a half uh, taxi ride ahead of us. San Jorge and uh, we'll catch a ferry there which is about a couple hours over to Ometepe where we'll be spending the next three days. Okay finally on Ometepe and uh, so we got to the ferry at 2 we didn't leave till 3 30 now it's 4 30 and we're here and we have about a 45 minute car ride to our hotel. We are on a bike ride in Ometepe and we are going to the Natural Springs, which is about two kilometers. Gracias. So we made it to the springs and we have, uh, what is this? We have Coca Locos. And uh, I'm just gonna take a dip and chill. Cheers. Cheers All right, we are headed to our first beach experience in Ometepe. And uh, luckily, our uh, hotel is right on the beach. Overall, we had a fantastic time exploring Ometepe. We were able to relax and get some much needed adventure in. Next, we head to Leon to try out volcano boarding and to meet up with some fellow backpackers at Bigfoot Hostel, who's known for showing their guests an awesome time. <laughs>